Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I've got a guitar part here. It's a Stratocaster playing some mutes, kind of 80s type uh, vibe to it, kind of police. Uh, it's used a lot these days by people like Bruno Mars as well. And I've got this nice little riff in. It's very straightforward. <laughs> Using those Stratocaster mutes, you can you can see the kind of vibe I'm going for, but it, it's uh, it's lacking a bit of reality and a bit of sense, and I don't have a guitar player to do this with, so I've got to do it from a keyboard. So what I can do is I can then treat this part as if it's a, a real guitar. So I'm going to put it through the Fender 55, which is going to give some mic options. It's going to give me a bit of tone. What I've done is I've set it in the line position, so it, it's not driving it too hard. Very just gently on the input stage, because all I want is some of that speaker breakup and some of that stuff that will give it slightly more realism. So at the moment what we have is, and what I've done as well, is I've sent it as a, a pre-send, which means that I can balance these two channels together. So here it is again. So what I can show you now, that's what's coming off the 55. And if I push it a bit harder, I can just, breaker that's about right for me I'm gonna say I've got these two I've got two SM 57s on the cab as well I've got this spaced a bit wide as well then if I bring the original back out in again and take that back out and then what we'll do as well is I'm gonna set these widen them so first I get some nice width so there they are spaced now, to really get that kind of Andy Summers type sound, I'm now going to go through the classic UAD Galaxy as well. And this is a tape echo. And what I've got it set as, I've got it set on uh, the uh, old tape mode, which is going to give it a bit of, the tape's going to slip a bit. Uh, and then it's going to give me some chorusing effects as well. Uh, so I've got that quite, quite a lot of input volume, got the reverb quite quiet, got the echo quite high, and then you can pan them as well. And if you listen to this now, so let me play you this now with this as well. You can hear because the tape's got some slippage there. There's a bit of chorusing going on. Don't want too much reverb, so bring that back down. Let's hear that in the track. We just balance them all up now. So it before. So what I've managed to do there is give give that that uh, sample. Uh, some more some more realism, some more energy, and of course with that nice delay going on as well, that really lovely nice 80s retro guitar sound. Hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.